Guys, you are welcome to this lecture. Please make sure you click on the subscribe button and also give it a thumbs up if you find this video useful. Now we are going to go straight into answering this question in the next moment. Now the question says, simplify 5 raised to the power of x minus 5 raised to the power of minus x divided by 2 is equal to 3. Now whenever you are given any question, the first thing that you should ask yourself is what kind of question is this? Now this question is an exponential question. So we are going to employ all the mechanism or everything that is required in answering questions under exponential questions or exponential equation rather. So having been given this, the first thing we need to do is to make the equation a linear equation. To make the equation what a linear equation now how do we make this a linear equation we say this is three we can say this is three over one right cross multiply now this two one multiplied by everything here we give us what five raised to the power of x minus five raised to the power of minus s reason being that when one multiply anything it will still give us that same thing this will be equal to two times three and this becomes five raised to the power of x minus 5 raised to the power of minus x is equal to 2 times 3 is how many is 6 2 times 3 is how many is 6 now at this point in time what do you think we can do next the next thing we should do is we can't solve this thing like this we can't solve it like this so we can say this be written as 5 raised to the power of x times now note that 5 raised to the power of minus x 5 raised to the power of minus x is still the same thing as 1 all over 5 raised to the power of x. 5 raised to the power of minus s is the same thing as 1 all over 5 raised to the power of x. So this gives us 1 all over 5 raised to the power of x is equal to 6. Now at this point in time, what do you think we can do now? We cannot find the like term, uh, the LCM of this and this. Now if I may write this again, this is 5 raised to the power of x. Now, sorry, this is not times, this is minus minus 1 all over 5 raised to the power of x now note that this is over 1 is equal to 6 now at this point in time what do you think we can do what is the lcm of 5 raised to the power of s and 1 the lcm of 5 raised to the power of x and 1 is 5 raised to the power of x so this becomes all over when 5 raised to the power of x divide 1 it will give us or 1 uh, 5 raised to the power of s divided by 1 to give us 5 raised to the power of s times another 5 raised to the power of x. We are going to have 5 raised to the power of s, then what? Squared. Then minus 5 raised to the power of s divided by 5 raised to the power of s. It will give us what? 1. 1 times 1. This will give us what? 6. Every I, mean, I mean 1 times 1 is 1. Sorry. So that will give us everything here equal to 6. Now at this point in time, we cannot say that what we have is 5 raised to the power of x, then we have bracket 2 minus 1 is equal to 6, then bracket 5 raised to the power of x. Now at this point in time, what do you think we can do? We can say let y be equals to 5 raised to the power of x now the reason why we are doing that is so that we can easily solve using quadratic equation so if y is equals to 5 raised to the power of s wherever we see 5 raised to the power of s what are we supposed to put there y so this gives us y square minus 1 is equal to 6y now what should we do at this point in time collect 6 to this side becomes y square now if 6 crosses to this side becomes minus 6y minus 1 everything is equal to 0 at this point in time that we may now solve this with quadratic equation now how do we solve this with quadratic equation let's take it to another slide we say we have y square minus 6y minus 1 is equal to 0 y square minus 6y minus 1 is equal to so at this point in time, what do you think we can now do? We can solve this with quadratic equation. Now, what is the formula for quadratic equation? 
we said if we use the formula method we are going to have this as y is equals to plus um, minus b this will give us minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a that's what this is going to give to us now comparing the equation is y square minus 6y minus 1 is equal to 0. now if you compare this equation a will be equals to 1 b is equals to minus 6 and c is equals to minus 1 a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 6 and c is equals to minus 1 so wherever we see b in the equation we put minus 6 wherever we see a we put 1 and wherever we see c we put minus 1 now solving with this what are we going to have we are going to have y is equals to in place of b put minus 6 plus minus the square root of in place of b put minus 6 then this is squared minus 4 bracket a is 1 and c is minus 1 everything all over 2 bracket 1 which is 2a so at the end of the day what are we going to have we are going to have y is equal to minus times minus here we give us 6 plus minus the square root of minus c square is 36 then minus 4 times minus 1 is plus 4 all over then 2 here now this will now give us y is equals to 6 plus minus the square root of 36 plus 4 is 36 plus 4 this will give us 40 square root of 40 so at the end of the day what do you think we are going to have if you have the square root of 40 we can say y is equal to 6 plus minus what is the square root of 40 now note that 40 can be written as root 4 times 10 don't forget to say this is all over 2 right now let me rewrite this again so that you won't get confused we said everything here is all over 2 now y would be equal to 6 plus minus square root of 40 is root 4 times 10 all over 2 now this is a very long one but we should take it step by step and then your y would be equals to 6 plus minus the root of 4 times the root of 10 divided by 2 and then y would be equals to 6 plus minus we have root 2 root 2 root 4 is what 2 rather root 4 is 2 so we have 2 root 10 all over 2 but we can see that 2 is common in everything here so we can say y is equals to 6 plus minus then 2 root 10 sorry for writing this again all over 2 we see that 2 is common because 2 can go into 6 2 can go into 2 here and 2 can go into 2 here so we can take 2 out this become 2 bracket 2 going to 6 is 3 plus minus 2 going to 2 is 1 1 times root 10 is root 10 then all over 2 at this point these two can cancel these two so our y is equal to 3 plus minus root 10 so that is our value for y so if we want to write it we can say y is either 3 plus root uh, sorry 3 plus root 10 3 plus root 10 or we can say y is 3 minus root 10 so these are values for y these are values for y but take note that we said let y be equals to 5 raised to the power of x is that not so we said let y be equals to 5 raised to the power of x so for us to get x anything we have for y we are going to equate it here are we getting it now so finally our y is equals to let's put this on a new board so this will be since we know that our y is um our y is 3 plus root 10 or 3 minus root 10 and we also know that y is equals to 5 raised to the power of x wherever we see y we can put 5 raised to the power of s in order to get the value of what 
x in order to get the value of x. So wherever we see y, I put 5 raised to the power of x. So taking it to cognizance as the first one, the first uh, factor we have, which is 10 plus root 10, wherever we see y, we put 3 plus root 10. So this gives us 3 plus root 10 is equals to 5 raised to the power of x. Now at this point, what do we do? We find the logarithm of both sides. We can decide to find the natural logarithm of both sides. Now, if you find the natural logarithm of both sides, what will it give to you? This is natural logarithm of 3 plus root 10 is equal to the natural logarithm of 5 raised to the power of x. Now, if x should come backward, according to the law of logarithm, if you have ln a raised to the power of s, s can come or becomes s natural logarithm of a. So, same thing is applicable here. This s will come backward and this becomes the natural logarithm of 3 plus root 10 is equal to x then natural logarithm of 5 at this point in time to get s divide both sides by the natural logarithm of 5 divide both sides by the natural logarithm of 5 rather now this cancels this and your x is equal to the natural logarithm of 3 plus root 10 divided by the natural logarithm of 5 and then x would be equal to when you punch this in your calculator what is it going to give to us? The natural logarithm of 3 plus root 10. First of all, we need to know the value of 3 plus root 10. What is the value of 3 plus root 10? So that will give us the natural logarithm of when you add these two together, they'll give us 6.16 all over natural logarithm of 5. So we are going to press the natural logarithm of what we have there. You will see it as ln in your calculator. Press it, then you put 6.16. Or you can punch it and this gives us 1.818 divided by the natural logarithm of 5 is 1.6094 and then your x finally would be equal to when you punch everything there your calculator 1.818 divided by 1.6094 this will give us 1.129 which is approximately 1.13 so this is your value for x this is your value for what x this is your value for s now how do we confirm if this value is actually correct now the question given to you was 5 raised to the power of x minus 5 raised to the power of minus s divided by 2 so we come here and say to confirm if our answer is correct 5 raised to the power of x minus 5 raised to the power of a minus s divided by 2. This must give us 3. So, if you put in your values, x is what? 1.13 minus 5 raised to the power minus 1.13 divided by 2. If you simplify this and divide by 2, it will give us 3.000 something, which is approximately what? 3. So, this is the right answer to this question. This year is the right answer to this question. Thank you for your time.